the Yokohama 24 hour stunt and exploding soiree. We got Street Bike Tommy, Trevor Piranha, Lindsay Pastrana, and myself all going out in this awesome El Camino. The number 01 was already taken by 15 other people. So we decided to go with the 199, tried and true, and uh, it's gonna be one heck of a day. The 24 hour limits. Sounds like mom's, but it's not. It's the exact opposite. Instead of big multi-million dollar cars and race teams, it's $500 cars. Cars that should never have been built. You know, people shouldn't even really be on the track, right? That's where we fit in perfectly. We're gonna come out here and we're gonna show these people we know nothing about car racing. <laughs> Trav can't even get through a three hour NASCAR race. What makes you think he's gonna be able to keep a car together for 24 hours? $500 car, man, what'd you expect? It's got on the hood. Nothing. They didn't even come with a motor. You bought a car with four flat tires and no motor? Well, we got a tire sponsor for the tires. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the motor, man. I will make this thing mint. All right, we finally got ourselves a motor. Let's see if we'll make a little magic happen. Woo! Now she's a runner. <laughs> Look at that thing. What? That was easy. We're gonna put together a car. It's supposed to be no more than $500. Probably about $3,000 worth of safety work, cage, fuel cells, seats, seat belts, all that stuff like that. So there's a little bit of wiggle room on the $500 car deal, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all this and make the best car I think we can be competitive with. We do have a suburban motor that was put in there. Um, to go with our, our $400 chassis that he found in the junkyard. Um, as it turns out, it was pretty much rusted out the bottom. So he can't really hook anything to anything. So it's taken him a little longer to, to piece it together. But I feel pretty safe with what he's uh, come up with. We're gonna show him what the old girl's got today. Who are your teammates? Me, primarily me. You know, I uh, I built the car. You know hard is to a driver swap mostly by myself. No, nobody helped me with building the car or getting it ready. They just had everybody else. You want to talk about the guys that showed up thinking they're going to drive the car today? I'd be Travis Pastrana, Street Bike Tommy, and Lindsey. And uh, yeah, so that's who I'm stuck with. Yeah, it was a grueling task to get here, and uh, we worked literally all the way up to the minute. And we, me and Tommy, had 22-hour drive time to get here. Uh, it's pretty rough. Yeah. We're down here in Houston, Texas at MSR, about to put a ass whooping on all these other dirty cars in this pit area. I don't even know why they showed up, man. It's just, it don't make no sense. Um, I mean, who shows up to an ass kicking contest, you know? It's just, it don't make sense. They just wasted all that time, money, and everything just to race for a second. It don't make no sense. I think all these little Miatas, um, they're, they're probably a better car for a 24 hour race. There's some goddamn Miatas out there, and I just like to say Miata's not a Lemons car. That's the number one track car in the world. That's got no place here. Those guys should be disqualified. 83 El Camino, that's definitely something that doesn't belong on a track, so that's the fifth bill. After Tommy goes out, I think all the other cars are gone. He thinks it's a demolition derby. That's the only way we got him out here. We told him it was demolition derby. Good. Good. Oh, look for that. Man, that's all the power a man needs, isn't it? Oh, and of course that has to be here. How could that not oh, be Oh, what is it playing? Like Cucaracha? I'm sure, no, I'm sure it plays Dixie. 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 <laughs> anyway, I think it's a sign of respect for the awesomeness of the car and the tires and the drivers. I better be in the top class. So I'm putting you in A with the big dog. Oh, you guys really messed that yeah, up. Yeah, you did. We came here to win. What's your turn? We didn't come here to win at the bottom. Race is about to start. We get back to the pits and the uh, car is knocking. Hopefully this isn't gonna put us behind at all, but we will win this race. We got uh, 16 minutes before the start. I don't know what's going on with the car. No idea, no idea. Tommy drove it. So, I mean, I know that I drove it, but I, I didn't break it. In my defense, it did not do that when I came in. What's the motor sound a little better? Let's see how it goes. Think it's gonna hold up? Yeah. 
don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Confidence was high. The car didn't see it that way. It's not supposed to sound like that. Off hanging over, but it fires yeah. dead under my feet. spin out, watch your mirrors. Then you go to the penalty box. The first time, is you're gonna be there five minutes, maybe. Second time, you're gonna be there 15, 20 minutes. Third time, you're gonna be parked for an hour on your third flag. Oh, you spun? Yeah. yeah. That, that other El Camino is behind me, so he got on the outside, I was like, no, 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 by, and then the car kicked sideways. He tried to bring it back, and then it just 180 back, facing the wrong way. Race. He is. It's taken him 30 minutes to get in the car and get his radio hooked up. Yeah, I just got music in one ear and crew chief in the other. What happens when a car goes by on this side? You don't hear the crew chief because all you hear is the music on here. Cars going by? That's just stupid. <laughs> Has he ever seen me race? I guess not. Cars going by. a lot of time and effort into that vehicle. This is going to be the last time it's going to be running all weekend. That, right? that thing's a tank, man. You can't hurt the thing you try. See that top piece in it. For an 83 El Camino, it's never designed to be on a track. It's actually holding its own pretty well. I haven't seen a car out there that can keep up with the exiting speed and straightaway speed that that car has. It just has nothing for brakes and can't really take a corner. Good man. Can't beat a Chevy. Small block Chevy, man. The most reliable motor in the world. If we make it to the halfway point, that was my only goal. When I was building the car, I was like, I just want to make it to the halfway point and still have a car. This is a long way to drive, and a lot of people count on this, so a lot of time just to get that car where it is. Well, Tommy's got fastest time so far while well, on our team, but whoa, it's the most smoking team, too. Tommy, what's the car smoking? I didn't do it. I didn't do any of these steering. has nothing to do with driving a car. It's not the car train. That was not my fault. You built the car. This power steering line cracked right here on the flare fitting. Caused the spray power steering fluid all over the end bay. Everybody likes to point fingers at Sometimes just breaks. Just so happens to break when I'm driving. Not my fault. Tommy, he, he knew it wasn't a sprint. He put up a good sprint lap time. 
And now he's wondering why we're still in the pits. I ain't wondering s man. How are steering boat man? It wasn't me, dude. Hey, no black flags. That's right. I didn't go off. Didn't spin. Didn't spin. I did get a little squirrely, but I only did that for YouTube. I appreciate it. like pissed off teenagers out there still. Lindsay got another black flag, that's her third one. We get a fourth black flag, we're parked for three hours. Hard to see out there. Heavy car putting out some power. Like I'm surprised nothing major is broke yet. The power steering line was unfortunate, but um, if he can just keep it under five grand, three hours like we're gonna be good so it's uh 5 in the morning um did a 98 lap stint trav just set the world on fire literally from 98 laps a couple times he carried a better 10 lap average than the race leader i did like three 202s in that last session which was my, matched my best time so i uh, consider it was dark and there's a lot of different caliber drivers out there and they are way different at night i think you made a lot of enemies out there there's gonna be some pretty upset people with the El Camino. i didn't touch anybody though i mean a couple people jumped off the track when I saw me coming, but it was good. They all checked the mirrors. I feel like the safety first out there. I'm up next, and I'm just gonna try to keep all four tires on the track, because it's, uh, there's gonna be some headhunters out there now. He embarrassed a whole lot of people. Do you think this thing's gonna work, handle better with the new Yokohama tires on it, freshies? Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with the ones they took off, to be perfectly honest with you. I, I mean, they're 20 hours, and there's still enough to put Abraham Lincoln's head in there and not see it. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed. Those tires are taking a beating, and that car is heavy. There's a little bit of daylight. This is the best that you're gonna get from track clearance. Now is your time to get a 205 or better, sir. Was definitely quicker than ours. They offered for me to drive at seven. So who needs sleep, right? I need to drive a Firebird Trans Am. I don't know, something like that. Do you trust him? I don't trust anybody here. Why would I trust him? <laughs> I just wanted a picture with him around the car, and this is like, like, excellent, man. This is like a lot better. Seconds off of Tommy's time. Um, crushed Piranha. She also caused a four course caution and got another black flag, but whatever. I'm gonna get her back out there. I think if she's got a clear track, she can do it for sure. That would that make my gear. She beat Tommy. All right. Tommy's so proud, he's like, dude, I'm only like four seconds off of you. Well, now my wife is four seconds behind Tommy which that's a long way, but I think she's got it to, to take it down. And dude, that would, oh. Awesome job, wifey. Everything you got, blow the car up. It doesn't matter. doesn't care at all, but this is gonna be, this will make my year. This will be great. All right. Get your speed up, let's go, 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 go to the line. Everything you got, this lap's gonna be good. You might have one car to pass, but you can do it. 
I love you. Blow up the car if you need to. Just meet Tommy. So he made you go faster than you were comfortable going. No, no, we didn't say that. Or are we getting into like sensitive relationship stuff now? I was just being too awesome, so I just keep spinning around. But hey, I've spun less than Travis in his NASCAR career, so I'm still winning. This car has been in the penalty box way too much. We're almost done. I'm just gonna say, next time I see it, it's parked. All right, got it. All right. It. That guy in the penalty box was not happy with either of us. So uh, that's a good time. I am impressed. I am so impressed. for good, Travis. He's trying for great. Well, practice, Addy. Piranha is about where I kind of expected Tommy Piranha that area. Like Piranha has been consistent. He's been very good. Lindsay did this with. No second, no fourth, and no brakes. I am extremely impressed with Street Bike Tommy. I'm impressed with how he's driven. I'm impressed with his time. Hey, he said if he sees the car in the penalty box again, that's just done. That's my fault. I really wanted to be Tommy because he's like, well, I'm the best there ever is. I'm the best there ever was. I'm the best ever, ever, ever. That <laughs> guy. We've got one more penalty, and we only got one more hour. Seventh black flag for the day, we're done with a half hour to go. We talked about it five times before we got in the car. Hey man, safe lap times. Please safe, back it down. We just need lap numbers. And I just looked at his lap times, I saw two O's, and I was like, he's trying to set the world on fire. Walk out here, the car's already parked before I got here. 20 minutes to go, all he had to do was drive Miss Daisy home. They all slam on the brakes and we don't have brakes. So I went, rah! I look over and homie with the yellow flag is like death staring me. Here's the thing. You pass under yellow, you pass under yellow. It's pretty simple. You did it or you didn't. Tommy, we talked. It wasn't me. We got no brakes. What do you want from me? Just cruise. You, if you were the third gear it, Tommy from last night, we... It wasn't me, man. The car stopped in front of me. I avoided the crowd of cars, looked up yellow flag. You were running 207s. You should have been near that group of cars. You talk to him and he sounds like he's listening and he's on the same page. As soon as he gets behind the wheel, <laughs> you should not have told him how fourth gear works. If he's third gear, he'd be just clicking off the 220s. <laughs> He's all bad at me. Me, I'm glad I'm not riding home with him. He took the last two months of sleepless nights to build the car. And you were the first one that it broke on. It wasn't my fault. And neither was the spin or the pass That wasn't a spin, that was a slide to avoid traffic. And the yellow thing was because we didn't have brakes because he didn't build the car right. You can't be mad at me, man. Saying. Drive what you got. Race car driver, dude. Hey, it's not a race car. I, I'm really impressed with two of I honestly, like, all jokes aside, I wasn't even going too hard. I thought you said you didn't hit anybody. I said I didn't get caught. And that side's the side that's bent already. He could have hit the other side and evened it out. That's significant. What'd you hit? I hit a lot of cars. Oh. Whatever, guys. I still won the most black flags. So. It's winning. Winning. I won something. Here's what you do out on the racetrack. You make proper decisions. And don't put pressure on your drivers. I suggest you go a little faster because you are getting walked by two Miatas. And if some of your teammates suck worse than you, don't make fun of them about it. No, you're the one that just said, if you're more than two tenths off the pace, then you suck. And you're not a good driver. You suck. Don't 
get into a pissing contest about fast laps. Street Bike Tommy has a faster time than you have. And go out there with low expectations. We will win this race. I'm the best there ever was. So if they don't think we're going to win, we'll show them what's up. You don't jump inside of people and push them out of the way. That's called a dive bomb. So as soon as I clear this guy, I was like, eh, whoa. Control yourself, keep it on the track, keep it pointed forward. Yeah. Faster cars have a responsibility to pass safely. These slow cars out there, one, they're slow. Two, they're smaller than my car. I'm sorry, I'm not giving way. Nobody owns nothing here, there is no line. I will not give up my line. Put your eyes on the flag stand. Don't hit nothing. I didn't pay attention to nothing. There's a guy in a house over there who was waving all kinds of flags at me. I didn't know what the he was talking about. <laughs> Don't be greedy when you get into the yellow. Don't try to race the guy into the yellow. Just disregard that yellow and hit her. Oh, and I go right through my hole. I look up and the dude's just like, you know, just the yellow flag came up. Really? Come on. So you didn't crash? No. You didn't hit anybody? No. Oh, I passed on yellow. Because I was... I thought you wrecked into somebody. No. I mean, I did, but I didn't get in trouble for it. He's like a toddler. You know, like, I, I have two young kids at home, and then I come here, I have a little break from my kids, and then I've got Tommy. Can't take responsibility for his actions. It wasn't me. What do you want from me? It wasn't me, man. It wasn't my fault. I didn't even do that. Not my fault. Didn't do it. up there but but I got one for you um, <laughs> the biggest baby award <laughs> I didn't do it I didn't do it I didn't break nothing the biggest I can't take responsibility for my actions award this one's for you buddy hey. what's my fault <laughs> why are you so mad at me <laughs> man <laughs> 23 and a half hours Tom P do a 24 hour race build a better car Tires held up. It wasn't my. I, everybody's blaming me. You know, I just. I'm like a kicker. You know, the whole team can get the game that close, and if the kicker dings it off the, the goalpost, it's his fault. You know what? Maybe we should have played better. I think that I did a great job. My lap times were awesome. I'm proud of my performance. I'm actually happy to go home because I need some shut eye. Till next time. I got four black flags, but. Awesome. I think that I'm probably pretty high up there in the black flag game. 24 hours of lemons, absolutely epic. Um, we weren't technically out there when it started, and we weren't technically out there when it finished, but we still got 50th place. So uh, really mid-pack, solid, uh, solid trial run for this. I mean, it wasn't even running when we got here, so uh, I think that's a win. Verona did great. Uh, Lindsay crushed it, although she did crush the black flags too. Tommy crushed everyone else's car, and uh, we had a lot of fun. See you next time. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on our epic adventure. Till next time, check out more stuff from Nitro Circus. Here, here, here. Probably over here. <laughs>